Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Someone who goes by the handle WR was in our chat room today, and he or she asked the question, should I change the settings in browsing history or keep it default? Uh, well, that's a, that's a really good question, actually. Uh, I used to think uh, keeping a shorter browser history was going to do me good, and then over time I realized, you know, there are some sites that I visited that I wish I could get back to, but I can't remember what they were, so I have to go back into my history to find them, and at that point I increased uh, the browser history to, I think, I've currently got mine set at, I'll tell you in a second, in Internet Explorer, if you go into the Internet Options, you could flip over to specifically the General tab, uh, and then there's the, under the Browsing area in IE7, there's the Settings button, and in there, uh, you can go to the bottom of that particular, uh, I guess, dialog box that says History, specify how many days Internet Explorer should save the list of websites you have visited, and my current setting is 100. So I go back about three months with all the sites that I've visited, and you know what? If there has been any kind of impact to my browsing experience, I certainly haven't felt it. So if I were you, I would, uh, I would bump it up because if you're someone like me who visits a lot of websites and, and you have a really bad memory or you don't save a lot of bookmarks or favorites, well then having a, a deeper browsing history is certainly going to pay off in case you remember certain keywords in a domain or you remember the date that you were surfing those websites, you'd be able to, well I don't know specific date, but you'd be able to more easily go back and get to them. Uh, now that being said, uh, now that's Internet Explorer. Uh, in Firefox of course in the options you go to the privacy tab and choose at the top, remember visited pages for the last X days. Right there, I've got nine days uh, set in Firefox. Um, you could bump that up as well and, and probably be just as happy. The only caveat, though, uh, for both these things is related to your privacy. Um, if you don't want other people to know what you've been browsing, then certainly the history is one of those things to clear. Inside of Firefox, there's a chance for you to clear uh, a, not just the history, but specifically uh, authenticated sessions, save passwords, cache cookies, save form and search history, download history, browsing history, etc., etc., etc. In Internet Explorer, has something quite similar now. Uh, it's uh, a misnomer though. I don't think they labeled the button very correctly. But again, in the Internet Options for Internet Explorer, right next to the Settings button for Browsing, which is where you go and, and change your uh, how deep you, of days you go back for history, there's a Delete button. Delete. So press that button. Nothing's going to get deleted yet. But then you'll see a dialog pop up asking you to delete uh, temporary internet files, that's your cache, or the files that are downloaded when you view web pages. Cookies, history, form data, and passwords. You can delete them one by one or go and delete all of them all together. So, you know, for the most part, I say uh, keep your history as, as high as you want it to go. I think three months is just fine. Uh, if you've never been impacted by it before and you don't really think about it, well, you know, maybe you don't have to worry about it at all. It just kind of depends on who you are, what you do, and how paranoid you happen to be. I know Ponzi uh, on, on certain laptops have, has gone into the browsing history to see where I've gone, and uh, lucky for me, I visit only happy websites, you know, websites that anybody could visit and not be freaked out about. Uh, well, I, I know of a few websites you might be able to visit that you shouldn't be freaked out about. My blog, chris.perlo.com, lockernome.com, that's my uh, blogging network that I'm in the process of reshaping with a few friends. Uh, let's see here, there's media.perlo.com, that's where we archive all these podcasts and videos for you to download and synchronize with your iPod or PSP. And then, of course, our chat room. Yeah, we take people from all ages, of course, some of those people... Um, don't behave nicely in, in those people we ask to go away because we only like nice people here at the website where we're chatting 24 hours a day. Even if I'm not, these people certainly are. And that is, well, everyone keeps saying it, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.